This is my directory listing of my C drive. Here's my C drive. In my C drive, you'll see I have a directory called Intel. Within that, a subdirectory called Logs. I'm going to take the letter C and Intel, string these two together, join these two together to form a path, and then I'm going to list whatever is in that resultant path, which should show me Logs. That's what I should get. And as you can see here in Intel, I have the Logs subdirectory. All right, that's, that's the plan. Let's actually do this now. So I'm going to uh, import OS. And I'm going to create a variable called X. I'm going to say X is equal to the following. OS, make a path. How? By joining together these two structures, these two objects. C colon backslash. Whoops. C colon slash comma and single quotes Intel. I'm going to join these two together to form a path. Here we go. Let's see what's in X. And there I go. You see I have C colon backslash or C colon slash Intel. Now what I want to do is I want to get a directory listing of this guy see what's inside of him. I should get the logs subdirectory. Let's see if in fact that's what what happens. So I'm going to say OS uh, list out all the directories. Give me a directory listing of X which is C colon in slash Intel. And let's see if I get logs. Oh I do. <laughs> I love it when a good plan comes together. Where did I hear that before? Well, anyway, C colon, there's Intel, and there's logs. And that's what we just did. That's what we just showed. How? Import OS. And then we said X equals OS, OS dot path dot join this guy with this guy. And it worked. Then I got a directory listing of whatever was in X, which was this path. From this module, I executed their command list directory of whatever is in X, and it showed me that I had logs in there. Once again, this guy is in is a subdirectory of this guy, who I joined to this guy to form a path. Like so. And I think that's all I want to talk about today. This is George Bull saying bye bye now.